Like and subscribe. Support for our videos. Emma always walked to school, but today felt different. The air buzzed with anticipation as she stepped onto the path through the woods. It was a shortcut, one she'd taken many times, but something about the morning felt peculiar. The sunlight filtered through the trees, casting eerie shadows that danced like wraiths on the forest floor. Halfway through the path, Emma noticed a flash of color amidst the greenery. Curious, she stepped off the beaten track and discovered a small, intricately designed box. It was old, with strange symbols etched into its surface. Hesitant yet intrigued, Emma opened it. Inside lay a shimmering, iridescent key unlike any she had ever seen. Suddenly, the forest around her shifted. The familiar path vanished, replaced by a trail she didn't recognize. The tree seemed taller, their branches intertwining to form a canopy that blocked out the sky. Emma's heart pounded as she realized she wasn't in the ordinary woods anymore. Pressing on, Emma clutched the key tightly. The new path led her to a clearing with an ancient stone archway, covered in moss and vines. The key seemed to pulse with light as she approached, almost guiding her. Taking a deep breath, she inserted the key into the lock hidden in the archway's base. The ground trembled, and with a low rumble, the archway opened, revealing a portal. Emma stepped through and found herself in a magical realm. The colors were more vibrant. The air filled with the scent of blooming flowers and the sound of chirping birds. It was a place out of a fairy tale. A grand castle stood in the distance, its towers piercing the sky. As Emma made her way toward the castle, she encountered fantastical creatures, a talking fox who offered to be her guide, a pair of mischievous fairies who tried to steal the key, and a wise old owl who warned her of the castle's secrets. Each encounter added to the wonder and danger of her journey. Reaching the castle gates, Emma was greeted by a knight in shining armor. You are the chosen one, he proclaimed. Only you can unlock the castle's hidden power. Guided by the knight, Emma ventured into the castle, navigating its labyrinthine corridors and solving riddles etched into the walls. Finally, they arrived at the heart of the castle, a grand hall with a pedestal in the center. On the pedestal was a lock that matched her key. With a sense of destiny, Emma placed the key into the lock and turned it. The room filled with a brilliant light, and Emma felt a surge of energy course through her. The light faded, revealing a beautiful queen who had been trapped in a magical sleep. Thank you, brave one, the queen said. You have freed our land from the curse. As a reward, the queen granted Emma a magical amulet that would allow her to return whenever she wished. With a final farewell, Emma found herself back on the familiar path in the woods. The box and key had vanished, but the amulet hung around her neck. She hurried to school, her heart racing with the thrill of her adventure. No one believed her wild tale, but Emma didn't mind. She knew that somewhere, in a magical realm just beyond the ordinary, she had lived an extraordinary adventure on her way to school.